Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Stalker Anomaly. So, previous episode, we decided to go to the Red Forest and Jupiter. Uh, I've not left Rostock just yet. I'm still here. We still need to go north and deposit the RPD and the AS Val that we managed to get ourselves a little prize out of in the Red Forest. Now, I've actually discovered that there is in fact a stash up here. I was going through my inventory just a minute ago and uh, I found a PDA and it was locked. So I went to the technician here in Rostock. He unlocked it for me for 500 rubles and I've discovered that there is in fact a purple stash here. Stash of Alex Piton. Rem reminder to self because I always forget I spotted some sort of backpack laying around not quite sure if someone put it there on purpose, but it was definitely hidden away. There's definitely something in there. Let's wait till things quieten down first. Now, on my last live stream, which was on Stalker Anomaly, I, I can't speak today. Ah, last stream on Stalker Anomaly, um, a lot of people pointed out that the green stashes are kind of basic loot. Like for example, this one right here, this little stash right here. If you can kind of make that out, it's a little green one. Apparently that's like common items, you can find like common crafting items and such. Uh, but the purple ones, the ones that are purple, have got something special in them. Now, the only issue that I have is that we're not in Jupiter, we've actually decided to leave Jupiter and we're going back to the warehouses. Which is probably the best idea because I need to buy a new backpack. Um, this is Zaton. I've never been here before. And my worry is that it's very close to the Chernobyl NPP, uh, where the Monolith guys kind of hang out. A lot of people have told me this is where the Monolith guys hang out. Uh, they hang out in Pripyat, and they hang out in the outskirts as well. Now, my concern is they'll be here, and there'll be plenty of them to shoot, but there'll be plenty of them to shoot me as well. Also, it's the morning, I did sleep. It's 10 in the morning, so... We've got a whole day to do this. We've got a whole day to do a various amount of tasks. But anyway, let's go back to the army warehouses, the military warehouses. I took the, uh, as you can see, I've actually taken off the grenade launcher for the M4. Uh, I've realized that I don't have any grenades for it, so there's no point having it on. Uh, it's just maybe a little bit added weight. I don't think weight contributes much in this game. It's only, like, the main items that you've got on you. For example, your armour, your helmet. Any, like, peripheral uh, items, like your head torch and stuff. I don't think uh, attachments really contribute. I could be lying. I could be completely lying about that. But, we're heading north. We're going back to the army warehouses. I do want to do a few little tasks around here. Oh, Hi! Are you, are you choppable? No? Oh, shame. Shame. Now, I don't know if I'm in semi-automatic or automatic here, and we're going to have a little look. Bad guys? Duty. Okay. So the area is kind of clear. The area is sort of clear. Uh, I can't I can't be certain. Do you know, fine well, uh, that these guys actually attacked me on a live stream? No, it wasn't a live stream. I was playing this off camera, and I was learning about a few things, learning how to do a few things, and... Um, the duty guys just opened fire on me. At the time, I had a sniper rifle and a shotgun, so I just used my sniper rifle and just took them all out. It was really funny. It was genuinely funny. What are these guys? That's a lot of dudes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Uh, those guys that we've seen are not here, surprisingly. They might be a little bit ahead of me, but I'm not 100% sure. This place looks a little bit apocalyptic at the moment. I don't know what's been going on. Don't know if a uh, monolith have passed through here or any sort of uh, emissions occurred in this area. I think the emissions are every zone. Like when it happens, it happens to every single zone. Is that a bad guy? No, it's a friendly. It's a friendly. We're okay. We're all good. I almost opened fire on him. I couldn't help myself. He's gonna have a little sit there. Hey, stalkers! Чем пожаловал? What on earth was that noise? Okay, he's a freedom guy. That's fine. He's a freedom guy. We don't have to worry about them. They're the guys that manage the, uh, the military warehouses. Right. I'm thinking today we should head south and actually take up the, the mission 
the Great Swamps and actually do the Living Legends. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dump all of the things that we don't need. All the things that we just don't need to take with us on this trip. So, the main things that we will be taking are a few medical supplies, a little bit of food, a little bit of water, some Psyche tablets and hopefully some um, anti-rad tablets as well. Is that a bad guy? That's a friendly. Not a lot of bad guys kicking around here, surprisingly enough. Uh, that as well, we'll all only be carrying a, a main weapon and a sidearm. I'm going to put away my shotgun. I'm only going to take the M4. Whoa! Oh! It's, it's two factions engaging. Oh my god! Who are these guys? They're neutral with me. I, I, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, he had a grenade. So this guy was a duty officer. So these guys aren't particularly liked uh, in this region. I think that guy ahead of me is a freedom. Yeah, he's freedom. M4 tactical? Oh! Oh my god, this guy's got guns for days? Um... What kind of armor is that? That's, that's dookie armor. Uh, I'll take that, take that. This guy's got some guns, guys. God damn. 81 kilograms. 85 kilograms. 90 kilograms. Can I still move? No, I can't. I'm gonna hand that back over. Um, I really want to take all these guns. I really want to take... Is that a Browning High Powered? I'm taking that. Uh, that is an AEK. That is one of the most overused guns in Battlefield ever. This this gun right here. Most overused rifle ever. There's also... Oh, there's a lot of bullets in that. There's a lot of bullets for this. Right, I believe I already have a G3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload that and throw it over. Um, I can't remember if I do actually have an LR300. I believe I do. I'm going to detach the scope, I'm going to put that back in his body. The M4 Tactical, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this because it is a fabulous weapon. And I don't know if I've kept one as well. Uh, AS Val, I think we can, we can still move. Good. Perfect. Okay, I got what I wanted out of that. Even though he was a friendly, well, he was neutral. He wasn't a friendly of sorts. He wouldn't have helped me if I was being shot at. Put it that way. In fact, none of these guys would, sh would actually help me if I was getting shot by another faction. Maybe I should improve relations here. Maybe I should improve relations with the Freedom guys. Because, if I press P, and I go to my PDA, I can go to Relations. So, I am... I, what am I again? I believe I'm an, a Free Stalker. I believe I'm a Free Stalker. Uh, so I'm neutral with freedom and who else have we got so we have got what's freedom enemies with so that's true so I am a I am a free stalker so freedom hate duty freedom also hate the military freedom also hate monolith but they're neutral with bandits that's something I need to be very careful of duty are not friendly with freedom they're not friendly with the mercenaries and they're not friendly with bandits or monolith See that I should have looked at this to begin with. I think I should have clued myself in a little bit with these guys. It's a very misty day, isn't it? Jeez oh. And of course there is ambient noises everywhere. Now the other thing the PDA works really well with is the uh, the encyclopedia. Did I do something? Now, I also discovered that the messages aren't coming up in the bottom left, so I can go here. Uh, death report. I found a PDA next to a body. I don't know if the recorder was activated, but there's nothing on the net record except half an hour of screaming. There's no scratch on the guy. Devil's life, I guess. KH818. Been in some deep shit here, boys. It's a renegade. We got ambushed by a bloodsucker in the great swamp south of the raid road to Agroprom. Oh, that's the guy that must have died as well. Okay, we are going to go to our stash and we're going to drop off a load of stuff. 
like I said, we're gonna go back and do the main mission. There is also, I think there's a guide here. I know fine well there's a, there's a guide in uh, Rostock because I've managed to discover him. Hello! Right, run back here. Now, what I've not done is I've not broken this open. I got something out of that, I don't know what. Okay, we do have an M4 Tactical, so we're going to sell this one. Uh, we don't have an AK, we don't have an RPD, we don't have an AS Val. I'm going to unload that. And I'm going to throw over all the ammo for it. Uh, that M4 can get sold. I'm going to deposit this, the grenade launcher. I'm going to take this out. Or I'm going to deposit in there. I'm going to put the brown and high powered in my secondary. Throw all that stuff over. Um, let's let's uh, yeah, let's use it. Let's we may as well use an M4 tactical. There we go. What we'll do as well is we'll repair that as well, and we'll throw the suppressor on that. Drop that in there. Uh, I don't need all this old ammo, and I don't need that much ammo. Like that, 150. 150, 150 of each, right? Everything else can go. Oh, I've also got a... I've also got a jellyfish! I didn't even realise that! Okay, okay. Right, we're also going to take this this uh, shotgun with us. Because I want to sell that. I want to sell that shotgun. I'm going to throw those over. Right, we don't need that. Uh, we'll take two batteries. I don't think I need all these matches. I definitely don't need that. Oh, I need that. That's uh, that's pretty anti-rad, isn't it? What does this do? Oh, is the, are these uh, caffeine tablets? Right, I don't need them. Uh, these are anti-bleeding pills. They'll help with the old bleeding effect. I'll throw that away. Uh, I only need two morphines. What is that? Yadulin? I'll keep that. Throw that away, throw that away. Throw some of these smokes away as well, I don't need all of them. Throw away the corn. I've got plenty of water, that is marijuana. Altoids. Chocolate protein bar, I'll just throw those away. Put those in as well, and... I'll just stash up this crap here. I'm gonna stash up the Kevlar as well. The Kevlar plating. Uh, because eventually, there will be open slots here that I can use that Kevlar for. So, this is looking very good. Nice and empty, nice and lightweight. Um, don't need those bullets. What, 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 what kind of, can I got? Oh, the RPD uses those. The RPD uses those. That's fine. That's good. Right. Excellent. Let's reload. Okay. Let's go get this gun repaired first. Let's go to the technician, get it repaired, then we'll drop off at the uh, the trader, trade in all our good stuff, and then we'll move south and we'll try and get ourselves this uh, this main task done. Right, here is the repairman. I want some tweaking. I want you to repair that. It's going to cost me 21 grand. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. How much is it going to cost? 5 grand. That's fine. Okay, so both of these weapons right here... They'll probably get me... I don't know. How much do you think they'll get me? I'll also sell the jellyfish to the trader as well. But now that we've got a fully functional uh, M4 Tactical, that's the main thing I wanted from this. That is the main thing I wanted from this excellent gun. I love the foregrip on it. The foregrip makes it look really, really cool. The elongated barrel too. Right, Mr. Hippie Man, I want to trade my equipment. Okay, so I can't trade that, but I can get 12 grand, so I'll just donate that. What kind of guns has he got anyway? He's got an MP7, which is just good for spraying. Uh, he doesn't have anything overly great, actually. He doesn't have anything amazing on him. He's got a PDA. He's got a few other things as well. What I do need to find out is if I can get myself a bear... Uh, a bear detector, I think it's called. A bear detector. Apparently they're a lot better. That's, that's the only reason I want it. Okay. 
That sounded like a mortar. Oh man. Okay. Uh, what is our inventory situation looking like? Okay, we're down to 44, uh, 44 kilograms. I think most of the weight is the uh, the ammunition that I've got here. Tell you what, we'll just walk back. We'll walk back through the area. We don't need a we don't need a guide to teleport us there. At least I don't think we do. Probably more engaging if I do this on foot anyway. Right, we spot any bad guys, we've got the means to kill them. It's probably just the duty guys fighting the freedom guys. I think that might be what it is. But, you know, it's always worth having a little look, a little check. That seems to be mercenaries. They're shooting from all the way over there. That was a spooky sound, that. Right, we're moving south now. We're no longer going north. We are going south towards Cordon. And then into the Great Swamps. Hopefully I don't get tagged by anything monstrous. Because I, uh... <laughs> I've got plenty of ammunition, don't get me wrong. Oh, I don't have... I've just made a very, very subtle mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I've got rounds for the Browning High Powered. Which means I'm going to need to go get some. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> I, reali I only just realised it as soon as I got here. Cause look, wait a minute. I've only got a primary. I didn't pick up any ammo from a secondary. Shit. <laughs> Yo. Mercenaries? Oh, mercenaries. Oh, I caught him. Okay. Okay, look. Free look. Free look. Come here. Give me that look. Give me your guns. I'll take your cash. Uh, I won't take that. I won't take I want the cash. What on earth was that? I didn't even see that bush there as well. Where did my man go? What did I pick up? I picked up a CZ-52. Where did a big man go? This is him here. What you- Oh, that's a DVL-10! That's a DVL-10. That's a monstrous weapon. Anybody that is a fan of Escape from Tarkov will know fine well what that gun is. Oh my god. I've got a DVL-10. <laughs> right. To Rostock. We have arrived in Rostock. We have a duty uh, patrol in front of us. They've got some... Uh, that's an AS Val. Yeah, sure, man. I'll, I'll, what you got to sell? Balancing elements advanced. And he's got a load of crap. Okay. Sorry for disturbing you. I apologize. What I might do is um, I'll, I'll keep a hold of the DVL 10. Because the DVL 10, I believe, uses 338 Lapua. 338 Federal. Okay, so it uses Federal ammo. I do need a scope for this big bad boy. I need a scope for it. I I would I would graciously love one one of those right now. Uh, I'm gonna load the seven bullets I have for this into this Browning High Powered. Just as a last ditch attempt in case I uh, I run out of ammo for the M4 tactical. Okay, we're not stopping here. Uh, we're gonna continue through. In we go. That guy on my left is going to start aiming at me. 
see? What did I tell you? What did I say? He's still aiming at me. Maybe he's a private or something like that. Maybe he's not high ranked. Kinda edgy. Kinda on the seat, you know? I think I'm going the right way. If I go in here... Go through here... I think I'm going the right way. Because that's the bar. Yeah, this is the right way. Because I have to go through here. And then through again, and then that's where we get to the trench line. I'm remembering map knowledge. How about that? There we are, there's the checkpoint. Hopefully they've killed all the damn dogs here. I'm hoping they've killed all the dogs. If they've not killed all the dogs, I'm going to be very, very angry. Because <laughs> there's quite a few out here, if I remember correctly. I like how we're talking about dogs and then the ambient dogs just decide to chime in. Now they usually hide over to the right there, or the left, depending on which way you're coming. We got anything? It doesn't look like it. It does not look we've got dogs. Okay, perfect. This is really good. No dogs. Excellent. I don't have to deal with them. It's not that they're a pain in the ass, it's that they're a massive pain in the ass. And the uh, the distance between Rostock and the southern checkpoint, the southern area, where you go to move through into the garbage, is quite a runaway, which is why I'm sprinting right now. It's not until you get up here and past uh, a broken down truck, I think that's the truck there, I think I go past this and then it's it'll ask me to go to uh, the garbage. Okay, I lied. It's more. It's it's further down. Come on, take me to the garbage, please. There we go. The garbage. We're here. And already we're greeted with an anomaly. Perfect. Love this place. So good. Enjoying it thoroughly. What's that? Thought I saw movement there. Right, we'll take our time here because this this part of the garbage map is usually infested with bandits and I don't want to get caught out. Checkpoint by Rostock. Oh, see what I mean? Already shooting. I believe he's on that hill over there. Oh. It is a boar. You're not coming over here, are you? You bloody better not be. Right, let's check out the flea. The flea, uh, flea market guy. Let's see if he's got anything for us. He might have an, a better backpack. I would like to get a ba better backpack, personally. Uh, let me up, let me up. Sounds like that boar got uh, dismantled. Okay, Mr. Flea Man. Oh! That, that, uh, if, right, okay, for the people that don't actually play EFT, that right there is a Berkut bag. That is a Berkut. That is an excellent bag. It's five grand? I'm having it. You know I'm having that. Right, I do need some, uh, I need some bullets for this thing. So I'm going to take these 45 right here. Perfect. Uh, do I have, I've got five medical kits. I think I'm okay in that front. There's also a propane tank. You get two of those, you can trade it for a really good scope. <laughs> Again, more Tarkov talk. Um, if I put this on, I get an extra carry weight. Any of these? Wow! An NBC suit has an extra load 
I might buy that. That's 49,000 rubles. Right, we need to keep... I need to come back here and get that. Because that gives me way more carry weight. Plus 32 kilograms, plus 26. That's big. That's really big. Right. Let's get this new Berkut bag on our backs. So this has currently got a 21 storage, 20, 21 kilogram. So if I put this on, it should should give me a, a positive. Right, let's see how much inventory space I'm allowed to have now. 82 kilograms. 82 kilograms. Will you buy this off me? Three grand, that's acceptable. Uh, how much are you buying this for? 23 grand, I'm going to keep a hold of that. I don't need to sell that to you at all. What is that? That is a NATO suppressor. 800, I'll sell that gun as well. Perfect, we've got an 82 maximum carry weight now. 82 kilograms, just because of the Berkut bag. If I come back here and get that NBC suit, I'll, I, I don't know how much space I'm going to have, but it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a substantial improvement as well. That sounds rapid. That sounds like an M... Oh. Oh. Zombies. I forgot these guys... I forgot these guys exist. Good if I can actually hit them. I thought you were dead. Double tap. You learned that from Zombie Land. Okay. Time to see what they've got in their tummies. <laughs> what have you eaten? Nothing. What have you eaten? Have you eaten anything interesting? He's eaten cash. Okay. What have you eaten? He's eaten nothing. Poor lads. What have you eaten in the last hour or so? He has a hand and he ate some cash. I took his hand. I don't know why I've taken his hand, but I took his hand. Oh, that's a wee bit of stuttering right there. Jeez, oh, that was quite harsh stuttering as well. Don't know what that was all about. Uh, oh. Maybe I should have kept the shotgun. I'm sure karma's about to hit me here. Right, I think they're dead. How many bullets have I got left for this? I'm gonna run the EP rounds. I'm going to have to ask you to not do that. Okay, let's cut these suckers open. In fact, the, the, the hunter guy's right next to me. I could go give that stuff to him. And a hand. I could give the hand to him as well. Okay, I think we got lots of bones out of that, so... Nah, let's, let's not. Look, let's do it on the way back. Let's do it on the way back. We've got a mission to do today. We have a primary mission to do. We've got two things. First, we need to get to Cordon, and from there, get to Great Swamps, and then have a talk with this uh, this chap that seems to know where Strelok is. Lots of zombies. You're not a zombie. Yuck. Yuck. 
Okay, I don't want to stay around here for too long. Don't want to stay around here for too long. No, I, I don't want to get caught out here. 45 ACP. That's the way to kill things. 45. There's an anomaly right in front of me right there. Okay, I'm going to get my main gun out. There might be a checkpoint up ahead with uh, bandits. Wait, are you friendly? Oh, <gasps> Free stalkers! Oh my god! You finally took the checkpoint! Привет, brat. Sup, man? Got anything to sell? Ah, that's a shame. Right, we're moving to Cordon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Ah, good old Cordon. Now, there's usually bad guys here. Okay, neutralized. Easy peasy. I'll be having that. Eh, uh, nah, don't want that. I'll have that though. Oh, and I'll have. Oh, oh, <laughs> Wait, did that not have a scope on it? Did I not see that that had a scope on it? Oh man! I thought it had a scope. These guys are giving the AK really nice AKs actually. What's that? A heavy sewing kit. I've never had one of those before. Oh my god, something just died. I don't know what what it was, but something did. Um Do I want that bedroll? No, do I want to nah I don't want anything of that. How much how many bullets have I got for this thing? Ample? There's ample bullets for that? Right, let's move out. Where is that anomaly? Ah, it's over there, okay. Right, let's return back to our standard rooms. Perfect. Now, fun fact, I've actually done the anomaly here. I've actually done an anomaly here. Hold on, let me see if I've actually done it. The Rookie Eater Anomaly. I've actually done this off camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump over and see if I can do it now. So it should be right in front of me here. It should be in an, a nice open area here. This is it. Wall. Nothing there. Okay, one there. None there. There it is. Got it. here. And go this way. And go around this tree. And we can just simply walk out. Good stuff. We got it. We got an we got an artifact. We got a cell. It's junk. But we got a cell. That's pretty good. I need to um I need to keep doing these and to keep doing these artifacts, at least finding them. Because whoa, 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 game, calm down. 
what I can do is I can sell them on and when I sell them there's a migration oh okay sorry I get distracted by the migration of little rat things right let's drop a let's drop a health pack on this I need to recognise the noises that they make. I need to try and get used to those noises. Right, reload. Anything ahead of me? Doesn't look like it. anything on the bridge. Target. I think I hit him. I think I hit him. Not too sure. Might have hit him. Oh, there he is right there. Too high. How are you not dying? Right, now he's, now he's down. Now he's down. <laughs> all these distractions. All these distractions and all I want to do is go see this guy that knows where Straylock might be. Oh, game. Load a wee bit faster, eh? Please. Whoa! Didn't see him. Did not see him at all. That was, uh, <laughs> that was kind of spooky, not gonna lie. Like, that must be everybody here, or at least all the bandits in the area. What are you? He had a shotgun and he tagged me from all the way back there. It's a bandit. It's just a measly bandit. And there's the other dead guy. Right, we're gonna go and go into the farm. Distractions, I know. I can't help myself. But I've got guns here that I can sell. I can make some money back. Sweet mercy! What's going on here? Alright boys, how you doing? That's a nice bit of meat you got there. What are you? That's a clear sky boy, what have we got over here? Free stalker. Uh, and a whole bunch of free stalkers and clear sky guys. Cool. Open sesame. Hello. I'd like to buy some equipment. Oh wow, what is the range of guns that he's got here? Damn. Right, so this can use this. I'm going to take it. Oh, that's a ghillie suit! In Interceptor body armour. But higher ballistic resistance. That's got higher chemical resistance. Burn resistance. What else have we got here? We've got a normal backpack. There's an a an, uh, an AK uh, under barrel uh, grenade launcher. Now, do I have the... Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the DVL. I'm sorry, guys. I need to sell the DVL. I can't I can't not sell the DVL. Oh, and now we've got an absolutely dirty, absolutely dirty uh, SVD. I think it's an SVD. Yes, yes. Oh my days. Okay, this place doesn't sell the right ammo for me right now. For my. Uh, my M4, but we'll probably make uh, some money sooner or later. We've got 43 grand to spend. Um, can we get some extra bullets? Yes, we can. I'm just going to simply sell these rounds here and buy some fresh ones. So I'm going to buy what have we got here? AP ammo, 2,000 per 15. 
Are those old rounds? I don't think they're old rounds. I think they're just standard rounds. Okay, so we call it. We call. Tell you what, we'll call it a hundred rounds. Yeah. A hundred rounds, and we've got an absolutely monstrous SVD. And it's an SVD, yes, it is an absolute mammoth of a gun. Ugh! Monstrous! Unparalleled power! Oh, it's good, right. Let's see if we can let's see if we can shoot anything. Let's see if we can shoot some stuff. Cause uh I, I didn't get I didn't buy all that ammo to not use the SVDS. Okay, there's an anomaly right in front of me. What did you even have by the way? Okay, he had a pistol, he had yeah, I'll just take that and I'll take that and I'll take that. Thank you for your contributions. Now, I'm probably going to get a lot of comments uh, because I have in fact bypassed, I've bypassed a, a way to actually get to the Great Swamps. It's right there. Tell you what, tell you what, we have, we've got an SVD with 100 rounds. Let's go that direction, let's go that way. Let's go this way. Just scope out the area, make sure it's clear of any little rodents that are probably going to attack me. The only reason I want... I, I wasn't going to go this way because I wanted to go to Sidorovich and go get some 5.56. But I've got the SVD, I've got ample ammo for it. For it and it's got plenty of stopping power, so I don't think I'm too worried. I don't suppose we'll run into anything super dangerous. Super dangerous. Oh. I almost, I almost spoke out, spoke out a line there, didn't I? I almost spoke out a line there. There's nothing dangerous. My ass. Right. <laughs> we go up this hill and it'll ask me to go to the Great Swamps. We'll be going north. North, northeast of the swamps. The Great Swamps. We are here and there's already shooting. Perfect. It's exactly how I wanted to come into here. Bad guys? One bad guy? There must be a few, surely. I'm gonna swap to the uh, M4 Tactical. There is a damn helicopter here. Why are you here? Go away. What you got? I do like money. Okay, we need to be fairly careful here because uh, that is going to be a major issue. I don't even know why that's still in the game. Right, quick, 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 quick. There's no sound coming from it. Which is uh, fairly odd. Okay, it's not. It's not uh, bothering me. It's going in a completely different direction. Okay, we need to somehow get to here. Get to that broken down train. No, we need to get to about here. I think it is. So let's go. Get my gun out. 
I'm gonna go off the road here. Bad guy? Oh, bad guy. Show yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm moving. What the hell was that? Really dodgy noises out here, by the way. Wait, what's the fire icon? Burn resistance? Was I burning? Huh? Okay, I need to be fairly careful here because I've seen other footage of people going through the Great Swamps. I thought something just started moving there. Um, and they encountered quite a few snorks and I've encountered a snork before. They're not fun, they're radioactive and they're a pain in the ass. So, I'm just going to keep my eyes open here. Weird ass noises over there. Very strange noises coming from that bush over there. Don't like that. Whoa! Something clicked. Okay, I'll follow follow this here. This might be the way. Back you get. Right, he's dead. I only took two bullets for him. Okay, let me just go over here. Let me see where I actually am here. Okay. I might have to go south and round. I could just go across... I could just go in the water, could I not? Or I could just run across the shoreline. That too is an option. Explorer's Fate Anomaly. Okay, we'll come back for that. It's oh no! Heal, 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 heal. I didn't even realise. I kind of just walked that, walked myself into that. Okay, we're gonna go left. Take my time. Should have done that to begin with. <laughs> okay, I think we follow the uh, fence line here. I think we follow this fence. This is kind of spooky, I'm not going to lie. Is that a break or is that just the... No, it's just... It's a... Little graphical glitch. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha! Right. I think this is it, ladies and gents. I think we're going to head straight for the target here. I don't think I need to... Um, avoid anything here. Okay, it seems safe so far. It's pushing me down the hill. There we go. I don't think there'll be any enemies down here. I could be completely wrong. Right, there's an anomaly in front of me. So I'm going to hang right. There's one in that hill. Okay. I think this is the way.
Are you friendly? Oh, it's friend. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Now there's the man I need to speak to. Doctor, he's a trader. Yes, what do you want? I've heard that Strelok is still alive. Do you know where he is? Are you sure? The zone can't stop talking about him. After all these years, regrettably, I do not know for certain, okay. One one of them will lead into his hideout. Oh! Okay. Okay. Now, where do we have to go from here? Oh! We need to go... What is that? What is that? Is that ag Agroprom? Agroprom. Okay, we need to go over there now. That's one place I've never been. Yes. Actually, we might be able to do it because there's a way to it right there. You said you're a doctor, right? Do you have anything? No, he doesn't have anything. Let me just go out here for a second. Now... What are you digging for? What are you digging for? Look at his little glowy eyes. Ah, oh, oh god, his eyes move. That's disgusting. I never want to see that again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to quick save right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to continue this next week. I hope you have all enjoyed it, this has been a really fun episode. We've went from the military warehouses all the way down to the main quest line, which is down here, at the Doctor's Post, or the Doctor's Underground little uh, hideout, if you might call it that, underneath a train bridge, here in the Great Swamps. I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, leave a thumbs up on this video, tell me what you think down in the comments below guys. Have you had a shot at this game? It's a lot of fun. A reminder, this is a free game, this is a free mod, and reshader pack, you can go get it. I'll leave that link in the description if you want to go and get it. Also, if you've been enjoying all of my Stalker Anomaly videos, as well as my Scum, Metro, and Mist Survival uh, videos, and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you'll stay up to date with videos just like this. As well as a bonus for you guys, which is a Sunday night live stream starting between 6pm and 7pm. We go for about 3 to 4 hours playing Stalker, Scum, or any other game that I feel like playing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a lovely day. As always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time. Thank you.